out here today um, to hear them. Well, we won't hear them because it's too darn windy. But at least it's not dark out like a lot of time, so we should be able to spot them on the ground. Like you said, it's in the middle of the day. We should see them on the ground skirting around the acorns. And then uh, we'll have to see them and take them down from there. So, catch you in a bit. A little bit I can. Yeah. We got a little new toy here today. Tell us about it. Yeah, this here's a squirrel call and uh we're gonna see how it works today. It's just really tall here for me. Give us a little demonstration. And it's a little windy, so I don't know if you'll hear it, but I'll try a little demonstration. I don't know if it'll I'll get it there. Head right over by those oaks, uh, in that little mole right there. Do you see him? Yeah. He's right on that log, yeah. Good job, I'm looking for him. Okay, let me find him in the viewfinder. Okay, hit him. Got him. Another one. They're here. You see that one, John? No. There's another one. I want to see. Okay. Here, take them. Here, come. here, take this thing. Yeah. I see the blood. Let's see just get the other one. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. That's a good shot. Okay, let's go find another one. That's a nice nail. size squirrel. Hey, look, look at this nest. It's a big nail. Wow. That's a big yeah. tomcat. Oh, it's dot. Here, where'd you hit him? Look at it. Hold him still. Front shoulders. Yeah, it's like a deer, eh? Do a good job. Okay, let's go find that other one. Here comes deer. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, I had a big one, tree. Did you see him? Yeah. Did you whistle to me at all? Yeah. I couldn't find him there. Sure, could you, was he chirping? No. Yeah, I had one chirping in here, I don't know where he's at. Did you get that on? Yeah. Sure. Sure, nice yeah, field right here. How much better you got left? Um, are you recording or you got it on? This is too cold in here. Sure, don't record nothing. Where is he? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 
Okay, you shoot. I don't know where he's at. He's he dangling up there. You can't. Sure, right here, right here. You can catch if he runs. Yeah, no. Get, get, get him over here. Okay. Like okay. that. Okay. Okay. I think you had to run on the hill. Keep it going. So what's your point is done? Okay, just use your squirrel. Probably reflexes, he was hanging on. And then, uh, and then he just kind of rela must have relaxed after he was like good and dead, and then whoosh, down he came. There we got two. Dude, good shot. Yeah, thanks. Sure. Just wait, where's he at? No. Okay, okay, just wait, just wait. Um. Okay, Jerry. Yeah. No. No. Where's he at? Just shoot, Jerry. Sure, tell me where he's at. I don't know, but he, he came right there. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't find him there. Find him in the camera, and so I'm trying to find him without it. Yeah, it probably was. Good little trick. We went down right into this little thing right here while we were standing right here. Yeah, right there. Oh, dear. Good. Yeah, last one got away. Yeah, did. Yeah, what do you think? Oh well, dear. That's the fun of it. Dude. Trying to get him. See if anybody, if anybody could get him, uh, anybody could do it. Or sure. something like that. It takes a special breed. That's right. Cheap squirrel. That's right. If you look through the trees here, it's hard to see, but there's a ridge behind the trees. That's where Jerry and I just came from. I'll get in there shot when we get over and clear the brush. So we'll be heading back pretty soon. And we just spotted a. Uh, Big old black squirrel. Somewhere around here. But uh, he came running too. Because he was on the moving out. You know, while he was on the I'm not sure where he went now. Big old tree right here in front of us. I can't see him up there. 
There's a hollow deer down this way. Six squirrels. Yep. Brought back two of them. One's a nice size one. Uh, we had the one over by the building, but what the hey, you know? That's why it's a sport, I guess. So uh, anyway, it was a nice day out here. It seems odd that it's October and it's like what, 75? When the sun was out, it was probably 70 degrees. I guess. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Supposed to rain some tonight. It's nice out. We'll, we'll be out at Vern's tomorrow near Hudson there and uh, see if we can bag a few more. But uh, hopefully we'll have a nice day again. But who knows? We had to get out here while it was nice. And we did. So anyway, it was a good time. A couple squirrels. Hopefully we got them on tape this time. Yeah, hopefully we uh, hit record this time. Hope you viewers at home enjoy the show. And until next time on Furfish and Jerry's. Uh, happy hunting. Alright, uh, we're here at uh, my boss's place, Vernon, and uh, we're going we're gonna to get a hold of a few squirrels here. We like, just had a few just up there. And, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to kill some of them. Slaughter. But, uh, there's some red squirrels here, too. So, we're going to nail them. I hear one already right over here. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can jump. Oh, he's out there. There he goes. Okay. I gotta find him. In, I gotta find him there. He's right there. Okay, wait a minute. Let me, let me zoom in there. Let me zoom in there. Let me see. There he goes. There he goes. I don't know. Well, I had him on the run. He's moving. Where? He's going. Jerry, it's the Easter Bunny. Hey, Jerry. You're grabbing. There's one. Yeah. Here, go get him. It's great. Man, the squirrel's bouncing all over the place. See what he got there. Yeah, he's bigger than that squirrel. You can eat good. Toss and pepper and fricassee. Here, hold him up in front of the camera. Here. Camera shot. Good. <laughs> Send some rabbit. <laughs> Saw another rabbit, but uh, what happened? Uh, that rabbit kept moving, Jerry. <coughs> Jerry Peter was on the dodge. <laughs> hey, Jerry, we just had a crow sitting right through these trees on those evergreens there. He, uh, he got a bead on us and got a little. But we're going to look around here a little more, and we're going to head down for one of them gray squirrels at the bottom of the ridge here. Yeah. Good point. The view.
gotta be laying down there. Alright, Where'd he go? Oh. Okay. Jerry, what kind of animal is that? The red squirrel. Jerry, different than a gray squirrel, how? Uh, red and they're a lot smaller. <laughs> Jerry, you got him through the shoulders. Yeah. Jerry, good shot. Jerry, hold him up for us. Like, let me get a good zoom in here. Okay. Good, good blood shot. Turn him around. Whoa, Jerry, look at that. Okay, turn around. Let's see that shoulder again. Wow, Jerry. Really took him apart. Drop him. Okay, Jerry. Mm -hmm. uh, and you don't eat these. You don't? No. Why not? Uh, cause there's nothing there. Okay. Just do it, Jerry. No. No. He's on the top. Evergreen tree? Yeah. There he is, way up on top. Yeah, no, he's coming down a little bit. Jerry, jump. Jerry, cross to this tree here. See him? Jerry, this other tree, right there. Jerry, no, this other tree, Jerry, over here. Look. Look, he's on the top of that tree there. Jerry, he's coming down this tree right here, right in front of me. Right in front of me, right here, extension right there. Jerry, he's gone. Huh? He's gone. Really? And here, underneath the boat. Well, Jerry? Uh, had a few things here tonight, but not much here, Bird. Um, a lot of squirrels around. We should have stayed in the Next time, we're just going to sit out here and get away from them so they come in on, uh, on the bird feeders down the bird feeder so uh, probably tomorrow we'll probably come here and just sit and wait for them to come. There's a lot of squirrels come through. Uh, uh Jerry <laughs> Well Jer uh we got a rabbit and uh a red squirrel and we would have had that last red squirrel but yeah, that's right we were chasing that last I, one but I had my I had them right on the, like, dead to rights, and it was just a matter of finding them in the camera, and it was tough because there was a, uh, it was an evergreen tree, and it's hard to see through those things. Yeah. We'll, we'll get, them. get them on the camera, but we might have got, they move so through fast through the trees. Yeah. That you can't see them. Yeah. And we're pretty much not shooting them unless we can get them on camera. So, especially the red squirrels, because yeah. they're not much use anyway. No. So, anyway. Uh, all right, well. Hopefully we'll get some more footage for you and uh, hope you enjoyed this one. See you on. Ah, jerk. Jerk, it's fading out. Okay. It's a nice sized doe. Did you, get, did you zoom in on her? There's a farm. Did you zoom in on her? Yeah. Nice doe. Little farm. Get them done. See how they got. No, lost focus. There it is. Do you flip through and see if you can get a clear one? Ah. Just so pretty cool. Jim, just keep it. Put your own bed up there. Jerry's gonna try to sneak up on the deer here. Uh, he's not sneaking up very well. You can see they're like running way the heck up there. Right there, see their tail. There's Jerry. 
Lobster's not very good at sneaking. I don't think Jerry feels he's too smart right now. Sending deer away the heck up there. Jerry. Jerry, are you sneaking? You see him? Yeah. Jerry, you can still hear him. You still see him? Yeah, they're way up there now. Jerry, you see him. Well, that you can't. You just oh. saw their tail. So yeah, well, I started sneaking through and I could hear him running, so I took off. So you don't realize that stuff was way over your head. It's tall. Welcome to Fur Fish and Jairs. Um, we're going hunting here up at the Potter Home in Spooner, Wisconsin. But um, we got some equipment that's down. And uh, Jairs trying to fix here. Jairs, what's the problem? There's a piece of jelly. Oh. Okay, well, we'll get back to you when we get this fixed. Jerry's got his gun working and we're going to... Oh, not bad at all. Almost in it. Yep. Better in the group? Not bad at all. We'll look at that one. Okay, guys, are ready to go? We're ready. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, we've been out here for a while and there's like no squirrels in sight. Jim. Okay, where are all the squirrels? I think they went to snow there or something. Snow? <laughs> Minnesota? Yeah. Where's the squirrels? No luck. The barrel says they're in Snowda. Is it where? Minnesota. Chair? Fresh air over there. Yeah. <laughs> Chair? What? Where's the squirrel? They're in the woods. Oh. Okay. Boy, there's just no squirrels up here. Oh, there's no squirrels at all. Gee. It's a chair. It is. It is. Jerry, get the camera hey, on him. Over there. Over there. Look at him. Jerry, go get on the wood pile. Okay. We're going to get him? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He didn't move. Uh, I think that got him. Whoa! There we got him. Done. There he's done. Uh, good shooting. You guys think you hit him? I think so. I think we got him. Let's go check. Careful, Jerry, Jerry, careful, a wounded Jerry, Jerry can be bad. Look at him go. There he got him. <laughs> hit him again, hit him again. Still up. Hit him again. Hit him again. Man, this guy is... You going? There he is. Hey, get him. <laughs> uh, you got him.
This is a Christmas 1995 Mossy Oak Rabbit Hunt. I was in the woods, so I willed me a bull. And I put a string on it made out of porcupine quills. Luckily, I carved myself a Mossy Oak Thunderhead 145 grain muzzy broadhead and 2217 game getter arrow and I was set to do some real hunting. As you can tell I was well camouflaged in my secret hiding place and I was out there with some pretty keen fellas. They were swell. My guide to the right put out some corn for me. Some might question the ethical practice of this but it really drew them in. <laughs> Meanwhile, I took my position high above perched in the treetops, hitting behind some branches. The deer would not be able to see us. I was shaking harder than the tree was waving because of the wind. But anyhow, I overcame all that, and I blended in with my surroundings. I almost made it to the top of the tree, but Brian... <laughs> I had had enough nails up that high that I thought for sure I'd fall down and break my neck. So I settled on some lower branches and I settled into his tree stand. And he said, oh, hello, hello, hello. Put on the safety belt, belt, belt. I don't know how good I built it, built it, built it. And so I did. It was well advised. It was a pretty, pretty stout piece of binder twine that was holding me there. And the strap was for a much slender young man, which would have also fit me at a much younger age. So I put it on my rib cage as best I could, and I couldn't breathe for a long time, about an hour, hour and a half. But uh, finally I exhaled and uh, settled into position. And uh, well, nothing really came out as far as deer, see? But that was okay. The excitement was only about to begin. We went, and Brian was coming out. And the funny thing was, I thought Brian was like way in the other 40 to his tree stand. But he was in his brand new, Christmas Day mossy oak camouflage and he was standing next to a mossy oak. So he was right there. I was looking down at him from my tree stand for hours. All day long, all night and the next day. And I did not see him there. Finally he got cold. He decided he was going to move and scratch and wiggle his toes. So he stood up and I seen him finally. So, well, meanwhile I had located some rabbits around behind me which I couldn't turn to shoot at because I was strapped into this corset type thing. <laughs> And uh, so I unbuckled myself and said, well, it's the end of the day. Anyway, I unbuckled myself, turned around, and I spotted the rabbit. So I said, Brian. That's how I did, just like this. So I... <laughs> and Brian was like, look at me. And he said, okay, he thought he understood. So he walked out on the trail looking for deer, big deer. Well, the, the, the rabbit was down there somewhere, so he didn't quite see it. So I said, go around this way, and the rabbit will come around by me. And it worked out perfectly. The rabbit, he went around this way, and the rabbit came around that way. And I was turned around this way here away. And the rabbit come out, oh, 25 yards and stood on the, on the trail. Well, <clears throat> I must have had a flaw in whittling uh, my first arrow, because it must have been a little bit bent, because I missed by like an inch, at least, a whole inch. And uh, hit a hit a uh, oak branch on the way down anyway, so I don't know. But the arrow, the second arrow, was a little more precise. The uh, I drew back the 175 pound whittled uh, carp bow and uh, flung an arrow in its direction with precise accuracy and pinpoint precision. And the uh, the muzzy break 145 grain penetrated nicely clear through to the rabbit's giblet. Well, Brad was supposed to be filming all this, but he's filming it now, so it's safe for posterity, because there's no raw rabbits in the woods, which we might as well get that too. And uh, anyway, I hit it, and it ran back, and they said, oh, well, we lost two more arrows. Well, you owe me a beer or something. And so I said, okay, I'll pay you a beer, but we better go look and see where that rabbit went. Maybe it's still sitting on the brush pile. And I went over there, and lo and behold, I see this humongous blood trail. And, and I said, 
Hey, Brian, come here. There's a humongous blood trail. He, he commenced to tracking it, you know. He's got his nose down there in the snow. He's tasting it. That's, that's old Split Toe, the rabbit. It's a bent ear. That's what I said, you're probably right. I thought he had a bent ear when I seen him come skittering across the trail at 35 miles an hour at 35 yards. And so, so old rabbit. Oh, we, we tracked him a mile and a half, around in circles three times. But finally we caught up with him there, and he was all kind of hunched up and bent over. And he, well, he was done. He was done for. I touched him in the eye with the, with the stick like you're supposed to. And sure enough, you know. So, here we were two miles from the house with this humongous 195-pound rabbit to drag back here. And uh, we hooked up a winch and got him pointed in the right direction. We didn't want to pull him against the fur. And, well, here he is. As you can see, a precise, exact hit somewhere there in the front. Jawbone, neck, whatever. Heart shot. Definitely heart shot. And we're about to skin him out. We'll get him on the skinning video, maybe, probably. And uh, we'll have to center that part for you people with a weak stomach. And uh, it was a successful hunt. Thus ended our Christmas 1995 rabbit hunt out in the big north woods. And thank you, and remember, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs> Steve Kirsch. Did you get that? My name is Steve Kirsch. I'd like to thank the lovely folks down at Fur Fish and Jerry's for introducing me to their hunting video and allowing me to pawn my tawdry wares on their videotape. So this has been fun, and I thank you, and good night. Thank you. Um, I don't know Woo! exactly, but look at that. You can tell. Wow. 35 yards. I was yeah. aiming for the juggler on the right side, so I got that. But I also clipped the one on the <laughs> left side and the trachea. And everything but, but the actual spine on the head here. But you weren't trying for the one on the left side. No, so I you were thought a I'd, I wanted to run counterclockwise back around me, so I hit it on this side. I see. Okay, how are we going to go about uh, cleaning this animal? Well, basically, you kind of sandpaper all the fur off the best you can. Oh, you do? Yeah. And, uh, well, back in the old days, we used to take the head and just twist it off. <laughs> <laughs> and then pull the... Well, the fur Sounds like off. a pretty good method. So, I don't know, usually we can cut like behind the ears here. That might work. Okay. I'll give that a shot. I haven't done this in, since the last one I got, I suppose. <laughs> uh, that was profound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll let you get a start on it and we'll check well, that Well, usually I use my, my expertise shooting for partridges and they don't have as much fur. I suppose. Well, that comes right off, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I thought you were the dog chews on him in the entryway for about a half hour. <laughs> it just slides it apart. Look at that. It just huh. peels right off. That's wow. I'll be. tan that hide. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. This should be a nice, nice little chunk right well, here. Well, look at that baby slide right off. He's got the uh, the official... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> looks like a cat now. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually looks like a little uh, poodle. He's got the poodle. Oh, cat sure, on sure. <laughs> Well, am I going to get in so, trouble if some bleeding hearts watch this you video, see huh? the viscera in here. We the use viscera. The, the technical term, so it's not so gross. The guts, man! See all oh. the tensions <laughs> You can see sure, right through the sure, skin. Sure. That's sure. pretty neat. So. That's pretty neat. Well, now we just <coughs> break the legs off. Yes. <laughs> Peel back their mittens. <laughs> Snap. Snap. I love that sound. I was watching a western, Sam Elliott, called Desperate Trail, and it says to this woman that was going to get hung, you know what it sounds like when a person hits the uh, hits the bottom on the hangman's noose? Snap? Snap like a carrot, he said. Just Ooh, like a carrot. Crunchy. Yeah. Would that be the full size carrot or the little baby carrot? That'd be the big the big one. Okay. Yeah. Is that a male rabbit or a female rabbit? I don't want to know. It's just a rabbit. It's just a ra <laughs> gender neutral rabbit. <laughs> Here, Brian. I don't want that. Is that the for good luck? I think that was the udders. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you don't really need a gamble stick and that kind of set up for a rabbit, huh? No, so you got. Hey, you guys forgot to put the tag on here. You gotta put the tag in right in here between the hind. That's bird's fault. Uh oh. One of them illegal poached ones. Again. Um, we get that a lot here at Fur Fish and Jerry's. People with no tags on their animals, people that don't even hunt with a small game license. No, people I, that don't hunt with a license at all. 
Yeah, well, once in a while we get a special guest star who has a license. Yeah, there you go. When the budget's up, we can afford to have guest stars with licenses. Yeah, and it's Christmas, so the budget's up. The budget is way up. Yeah. Give us a month, though. And no holds barred here. And we're going to do the standard hip crack here. I see he's, the hip crack? He's well read here. Aww. Well, what? He's well read. Oh. He, he Yuck. Wants to come up with it. <laughs> he wants black and white and red all over. Uh, <laughs> this is a newspaper. Huh? Now I finally get the joke. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Steve, you are bad news. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. Okay, what are we doing now? We're doing the gutting, eh? We're doing the gutting here. See, okay. the important thing is to have all your friends stand around and you actually do puncture one of these intestines. Oh, so it smells good? Oh, yeah. Such misery should not be shared by one person alone. There's a lot of guts in that little rabbit. He's got guts. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of like shake off. Oh, look, he had a whole full stomach or something. Hmm. Well, we could have found out what yeah. happened. Liver. Kidneys. Yeah, we still have the uh, diaphragm up in there. Steve, I thought you played trombone. You're doing a pretty good job with the organ there. <laughs> what is <she? laughs> Hey, we got heart, mouth. Woo. Good for the dogs. See, that's why I'd never shoot them in the heart, so you want to save that for the dog. For the dog. That's right. Any old, any old, you know, guy in the woods can shoot him in the heart. So you got to go for the juggler. I see. And he's clean, slick as a whistle. Well, he's all done, huh? Yeah, wow. we can get that. We can get this just cut open here a little bit between the legs. That doesn't take any time at all. Not at all. So how do you prepare them now for cooking? For uh, food, I mean, for well, eating. Well, you I make, mean. you take uh, an alcoholic beverage of your choice. <laughs> you saute them in it for about an hour, hour and a half. And you make a good gravy out of it. Oh, yeah? And then you throw the rabbit away and you drink the gravy. <laughs> Just doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> uh, and there we have it. Uh, okay. It's for gravy. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Steve. All right. You have a good day. You want more water? For Fish and Jerry's, we're out rabbit hunting. Start. We didn't see any rabbits. Why? They're all hiding. Oh. Why is all the snow like crammed around your neck on the other <laughs> side? I tripped. Oh. Did you have a good trip? Yeah. Oh. Soft blinding. Oh, okay. All right. Catch you later. All right. It's a little bit different episode of Fur Fish and Jerry's. Um, this is this is the aftermath. We're bringing a gun home. We hit we hit we hit the gun show tonight. And. Dan, tell us what you got here. I'm not sure she, well, she really truly knows who she is right now. Since Brad got that eight pointer and stuff on the 3040 Craig, I thought I had to get one too. Nice. Maybe it'll bring me some good luck. Keep up with the Joneses type of thing, huh? Yeah. Looks like a pretty nice gun. Chad, what do you think? That's nice. Noting his children are clearly devoted to him. There he is. What'd you say, Mom? Dan, what? Two guns? Two guns? Dan, you bought two guns? Yeah, I hear they're better than shares. Whoa. He must have got a two-for-one deal, huh? Yeah. That's it. A new girlfriend. I saw a bumper sticker that it said, um, my wife, yes, my dog, maybe, my gun, never. What's your other gun here, uh, Dan? 
22. Yeah. <laughs> Brian made me buy it. Brian made you buy it. Yeah. Semi-automatic? Yep. What's the make on it? What is it? Uh, it's a Savage something. I forget. Stevens. Yeah, that's what it is. Steven Savage. How do you like that one, Dad? What's nice. If you push this in a single shot. Alright, you know, well, another, it'll, it'll, another shell can't go in. Right. Well, like I said, there's no hunting on this episode of Fur, Fish, and Jerry, but we just wanted uh, to show this so that any of you guys out there that are trying to buy a gun and facing some friction, Dan's trying to be the lead goose in the V and show us how it's done gracefully, I guess. Okay, we got. Dan with his Craig, and uh, he's about to let her go for the uh, first time, so we'll just watch here. Whew. How'd it feel? Good. Good. Try? Uh, that's all right. How she compares? Um, I'm feeling pretty good tonight. I'd hate to. Ah, heck, I will try it. All right. We'll see. Here's Brad ready to go now. He's got to see if it's comparable. Plug your ears, everybody. Kabam. Smells the same. We got Dan's, Craig, and Lane laying here together. Let's see, the actions are exactly the same. Mine's got a stock that Dad had made for it. So the stock's a little bit different. But Grandpa put a different barrel on. He shot out the other one. Otherwise, the same gun. And here's his 22. Zoom? Yeah. Go in. Okay, hey. hey, what kind of gun is it? Are you going? Yep. Okay. SKS. Um, Russian. Larry Priest. I'm gonna shoot. Some automatic, so I'm gonna shoot. Uh, I hope it doesn't jam. I'm gonna shoot at that green bottle over there. Shoot from the hip and see how many times I hit it. Looks like I hit it once. There's some pretty big bullet tracks in the snow. Yeah, I couldn't even find it, but I guess it's... Okay. Okay, uh... Tell us the plan. <clears throat> okay. Get a shot of Bailey. Uh, Bailey could break the camera. Bailey's <laughs> cute. Well, it's cute as Flash. We're here to slaughter muskrats today at the Venter Back Acres. And uh, our plan of attack is to put the stock on the little critters down to this side of the pond here, down that way. On the uh, that would be a, uh, east side? I guess the uh, east side, yeah. Jeez. Ah. The, the northeast corner there. Hey. And while, we're be while we're doing that, Julie's going to circle around on the ATV. She's going to herd them right to us. Okay. And uh, uh, if everything goes right, we should have plenty of gory kill shots. Wah! Right in a bread basket. Yes. Uh, you want to tell us like what kind of equipment you're using? We Today like to, we're using on first and dairies. We like to, you know, look at that. I believe, and yes, I am correct. Today we have a uh, a Marlin's Marlin. semi-automatic 22, just right for killing varmint up close. Good varmint gun, huh? Good varmint gun. I believe we're shooting uh, Remington ammo. Personally, I'd uh, have some CCI hollow points myself. You would. But uh, I think these will get the job done. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Up in that tree over there. What tree? That, the only tree standing right there. It's about uh, six feet up. I just saw a wood duck come out of here. That was a wood duck? Yeah. Did you hear that call? No. I'm sure a 
muskrat. You live in here, don't you? That was a muskrat? Yeah, I live in this scummy place. Uh, that dog seems to like it in there. Now, where's that dog? <clears throat> yeah, but that wasn't one that flew out of here. It's sitting right there. That ain't a good dog. Where's it sitting? Zoom in on that thing right there and if I go. Okay, I can't see him. That bird up in that tree right there? Yeah, where's he at? Uh, oh, is that? Can we shoot Bailey? I say we thought he was a muskrat. Dude, I'll throw him in the water. No. And. Hi, Brad. Hi. Hey. Welcome we don't have, to my house. We don't have chicks on this show. Uh huh. I'm the special guest. Oh, yeah, you're a guy this week. Um, Bailey. Bailey's over there uh, hunting. Yeah, I bet Bailey doesn't catch anything. It'd be okay if he shushed some muskrats also. Yeah, maybe that's what his job is. You know, it's one thing to see stuff with the eye. It's another thing to see it through the lens. Yeah. Especially on a bright day, it's hard. Oh, there it is. There it is. Come on. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, you missed it. It's a funny little bird. Yeah, he's funky looking. When you guys see the footage of that flight, when we watch this, you're going to be impressed. That you followed it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Whap! I don't know. Oh, we'll go check the other pond. I think the Birds. He's got a shoot a starling or something. Yeah, that's like a cowbird or something. Where'd it go? Is it a cowbird? This looks like a brown headed cowbird to me. Are you ready? Yeah, I can't see him in here, but I think I got him in the scope of things. Oh, there he is. Oh. Is he still sitting there? Oh, he's still over there. To the left. I see him. I got him right on it. Oh, hey, nail him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get him. Wait, he's behind he's the, probably he's behind the thing for me. Ah. There he goes. Did I mess? <laughs> Gun must be off a little. Happy of mine or not. So, dude. Dude, I'll give you a buck if you can hit that one over there. Uh, that one up there? Yeah. Okay, you put it, you get it on film, right? Okay. I'm gonna shoot that bird. Put them big birds right there. Uh, he can shoot oh, them too. Flying. Dude, he bailed. Oh, there he is. Wait, where's the zoom? Oh, that's right. Okay, that's an even better shot. You don't mind just going off in that ear, do you? No. Uh, just mess me with the shell. <laughs> huh, you made him fly anyway, dude. I must have winged him. See us? I'm getting him on video. Get out of here. Shoot, him. shoot it. Shoot it. Dude, shoot don't shoot that. I can't find him in the scope. Oh, focus. What's wrong with this thing? Uh, never mind. Dude, they're coming back around. Yeah, but there's a plane right You're not going to hit that plane. Dude, what if I drop one by mistake? What do you mean? That won't be a mistake. Yeah, you shoot him. Dude, I'm too nervous. Dude, you must not be from Shyacta. Here goes that. Here. Yeah. I think I hit one. Dude, I missed a shot on the camera. They're coming back for more. Dude, you should have shot him in there right over it. Oh, well, yeah. Good shot. Well, we don't have any kills here in Furfish and Jerry's today, but we got some good wildlife shots. Like this bird building in Tullus. <laughs>